What is up, you guys? It's your girl, Pipsicle. I am here to show you how to set up your chart on TradingView. This is just a very simple and quick tutorial. A lot of people want this coveted watermark. No, I do not pay for my TradingView account. And yes, you can have this without paying for it. So that is what I'm going to show you. All right. Let's do the easy way. There's two ways to do this, um, but I'm going to show you one way that's really easy. Right click. Okay, anywhere on your screen, doesn't matter. Right click, boom, go all the way to the bottom of properties. As soon as you go to properties, I have my bullish, as you can see in my bearish candles here. I didn't change borders or wick. I like everything the way it is. If you want a preset theme, you like the um, white background, black background, whatever, it's all here. You see what my theme is. Yep, Cali. All right. Uh, under scales, I used to use symbol labels right here because I thought, oh, cool, I can see what I'm trading all the time. But once you have the watermark, it's always up here too. I didn't really feel like I needed it. It just added more stuff to my chart. All right, the background. You can have the lines. If you don't like the lines, then just make them the same color as your background like I did so that you can barely see them. Um, other than that, your watermark, the thing in the background. Here, let me move this out of the way. This, this GBP USD right here, right? That is your, oops, it's on the background. It's your watermark. All there is in this box are colors. Pick a color, fade it out, light or dark, and you are done. Uh, these were already checked off. I like them showing. They're all up here, okay? Uh, time zones, trading events, I didn't mess with any of those. Feel free to do so. Um, when I first had my trading view, it drove me crazy because this thing was here and I hated it. For me, I don't like to see anything. Um, although there's some cool news on here right now. Um, so you can just click this, boop, it disappears. That's awesome. You can also upload your chart and save it. Now, if you don't pay for it, you can only save one, but don't worry. Nothing that you draw on it disappears. Like see, I drew this box here, this rectangle here, right? And it's not gonna disappear. I can draw something else just so you guys can see. Here's a line, okay? So, oh my gosh, go away. All right, so now what we're going to do is go back out here and let's change. Let's go to the Euro USD. I always use uh, FXCM. I don't know why. That's just what, how I learned. So that's what I'm doing. All right, there we are. You can see I have old lines in here. It doesn't go anywhere. It stays there. And just so I can show you what... God, I don't even know what we were on. GBP, I think, USD. That's what I've been looking at today. Yep, see, there's our line. It's right there. We can zoom out so you can see it. Up, oh, our line's still there. If you don't want something you drew there, click on it and click the trash can. Let's see, it's being very disobedient. What is it clicking on? Sorry, guys. You know, there's always, like, technical difficulties. I don't know why it's being fun. Oops. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's still on draw mode. I'm so sorry, you guys. I was up last night for the London, New York session, and I am still really tired. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to right-click on it and hit remove because it was getting on my nerves. Whatever. Like I said, there's two ways to do everything. All right. So if you click this, it's going to do this. Just hit hide for now. It's never going away. Um, the RSI is not there on your um, chart. I put it there. And so just really quickly, here's where you go and type in your pairs. Here is where you look at your time frames, right? You got your scalpers, you got your day traders, you got your swinger, swing traders. <laughs> My bad. Um, you can change your time frame. That's awesome. You can zoom in and out. Awesome, right? There's more tools down here. I will go into that another day. Uh, under indicators, don't worry about roaming through here. Just type in what you want. Most people like their moving averages, right? Oh my God, you guys, I'm so sleepy. I can't even spell. Boom. I started to type in moving. Some people are like, oh, I want a simple moving average. Oh my God, it's not here. Yes, it is. Click moving average. While you're at it, click this star. So it saves it to your favorites. Okay. I already have it on, so I'm not clicking it. Here's one of mine. I have two. Where's my other one? It's so sad. I can't see it. Oh, snap. I think I've removed it, you guys. Unless I'm hiding it. Sometimes I hide stuff. Oh. Well, we're going to fix that right now. 
So click it. No, see, I have two. I just don't know where the other one is. Oh, I'm zoomed in. Okay, right click it, right? Because once you had hit indicator and you hit moving average, a line appears on the screen. Right click it. Or click, hover over it, I'm sorry. Right click it. Go to format. Pick your color, right? Or whatever. It's right here. Then you can pick your length or your levels, right? I'm sorry, your length. Um, so mine is 800 and 200 and close. That is my personal choice. You don't have to do that. Do your own, please. All right. Whatever you like. Boom. Let me zoom out and see if I can find. Oh, there it is. All right. Um, so other than that, that's it for today. You guys, these tools are pretty easy to figure out. If you want to draw a line, draw it here. Anything you use, you know, this thing pops up once you're done drawing, you can change the colors and there'll be a trash can if you change your mind. If you want your fibs right here. Okay. It's under the pitchfork. Usually it has a pitchfork showing. If you want to just color on your screen with the brush, draw happy faces. It's right here. I love using rectangle. That's like my favorite. Um, text. You want to do your uh, harmonics here, right? Zoom in. You want to count your pips right here. Also, if you want to do a screenshot, uh, it's right here. So that's awesome. That is just a simple tutorial. If you guys have any questions, if you guys want me to do anything else, um, let me know. Hit like. I would really appreciate it. This is something that I just love doing, and I will keep doing it if you guys can stand my voice any longer. Bye.